Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. A city shaped by a rich history and molded by hard work. Known as the Steel City for its deep industrial history, Pittsburgh has transformed into a vibrant hub of technology, education, and culture. To me, one of the most unique things uh, about Pittsburgh is the topography. If you've ever been up to Mount Washington, it's as if you're in an airplane looking down on the city. And then if you're down in the city to look up at Mount Washington and see the church on top of the hill or the big Iron City sign, you know you're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was great to grow up in the city. Everything was walking distance pretty much. It was all blue collar. People in uh, Western Pennsylvania and more specifically the city of Pittsburgh are genuinely good, down-to-earth friendly people. Pittsburgh played a crucial role in the labor movement, with unions shaping the rights and conditions of workers across America. The legacy of union labor is deeply embedded in Pittsburgh's fabric. A project such as the Pittsburgh Airport Modernization is a clear reflection of the century-old union workforce that built the city. It's nice to be part of something that I know is going to serve Pittsburgh for a long time to come. The best part about working on this job is you're always doing something different and it's always like very important work. When this original airport was built back in the early 90s, it was built for one airline, U.S. Airways, to be in and out. It was a hub airline and they had hundreds of flights in and out every day. They went from you know, millions of passengers to thousands of passengers overnight. So it's over design. So this new project is building an 811,000 square foot new main terminal, a new park garage and new parking. So now all of our passengers are coming in and out of this place. Whereas 30 years ago, 95% of the passengers never left the existing building. When you arrive in Pittsburgh or anybody that's traveled to Pittsburgh, is long after you've landed, if you're coming downtown, you come out of the tunnel, and everybody knows the tubes or the tunnel, and it's almost as if you come out into a snow globe, and all of a sudden, the city pops up in front of you, the buildings, the, the football stadium, you can see the ballparks and the rivers and the bridges, lots of colors, the blue and the gold bridges and the sky, it all hits you at once. The airport is gonna embody that in a way. And when you come out of the ticketing area, the airport is gonna open up like those tunnels. And it's going to replicate the feeling that you have when you arrive in Pittsburgh downtown. That's one of my favorite things about the project. No one can match the depth of skilled labor and the knowledge needed to build such a landmark more than the NECA IBW Powering America team. The new Pittsburgh International Airport, the new terminal modernization project is designed to make the traveling experience that much better than it is currently. But it's gonna be a state-of-the-art facility that is gonna help to transform Western Pennsylvania and boost economic development all around the region because of this new modern terminal at Pittsburgh International Airport. I think it's important to have not just Lighthouse, but an ECA contractor in general because of the massive coordination effort it took to get this, this project moving. There's many trades. Something unique to this project is a baggage handling system. That's something that needs to be incorporated into our work. And there's going to be screens, monitors all throughout the building that will give passengers information on where their flights are. So there's a lot of that work. Um, and then, obviously, security is at a high with an airport like this, so there's a lot of stuff that goes into security that might be um, above and beyond what you would find in a normal building. The relationship between NECA and IBW is a special one. Obviously, Tom McIntyre, the business manager of IBW Local 5, represents the workforce. He represents the electricians the men and women that go to work every day for our contractors. And our organization represents those contractors that employ those workers. We represent the industry together, and we have a responsibility to the industry together, and we try to approach our problems that way so that we're not solving them just for management or just for labor, but what's right for the customer and what's right for the industry moving forward. That gives me a profound sense of pride that, that these guys can come here, work safely, and leave every day be productive, that means the world to us and the owner.